Okay, lads. Do you remember we were talking a little while ago about psychics? Yes. So I actually went to see a psychic on Thursday. Okay. So do you want me to fill you in on kind of like some of the stuff she said? Yeah. It was a bit, I'd never done anything like that before. Uh, the woman I went along to, her business card says she is a psychic medium and past life consultant. Um, so I was like, fair enough. This is a bit of crack. Um, so I went in, sat down and uh, yeah, she just started talking away from me and like, she like basically what she did was she give, handed me a pack of I think tarot cards and I had to pick out 21 cards randomly from the pack and then she kind of interpreted but she's she started speaking to like dead people or I don't like the, like <laughs> I see dead people <laughs> but, uh, well no first of all she checked my aura Um, apparently there's a lot of purple in my aura and a lot of turquoise so what? sorry no what does that mean yeah what no what's, aura what's an aura is your like the light surrounding you. Right, so. Rita Aura. Yes, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> yeah, so that was, it was like fair enough. Um, so Wait, is that nothing to do with your chakra or is that a whole other thing? Mm, is there a difference between your aura and your chakra? I don't know. We're going to get a load of messages off the Buddhists now. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, sorry, Mara, sorry. Um, she gave me a, like a notebook to write stuff as she was going down so it's kind of like this is all kind of extreme consciousness but uh, basically yeah at Christmas I'll come to a crossroads and I'll have a big decision to make in January or February I just stay working with us anyway <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 2020 is going to be luckier for love uh, the reason where I'm going wrong in my love life is that I don't know what I want so I have to sit down and actually figure out what I want well Maura if you listen to this podcast <laughs> 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 she'll have made that judgement yeah she was like yeah, it's just you don't know what you want. So the energy you're giving off is attracting men who have that same energy. They don't know what they want. So it's just like, great. OK. Wow. Yeah. Now, this it's all like it seems like an extended version of a horoscope. So then she was asking me, like, do I, do I have twins in my family? And my grandmother on my father's side um, uh, had twins, but they died at birth. I think they were born prematurely or whatever like that. And she's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's your grandmother who's here. She's asking for your dad." She says hello, and then she goes, "Who's Rose?" And my granny on my other side is Anna Rose, and then which is just like, okay, yeah, and Ooh. yeah, it was very like uh, she said, uh, like she said, yeah, your granny's telling you just how proud she is of you, and I burst into tears at this stage because not that I really believe in the afterlife as well I like I just thought she was going to be reading my cards not talking to dead people um <laughs> so apparently what my granny was saying that was that uh look you get on way better with men than you do with women but the reason that you don't get on as well women is because they're always a little bit jealous of you well, it's a bit like a also your granny says don't get your hair cut uh <laughs> That's, that's that's like to be yeah. honest that's like just someone like made that up like you know don't 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 get your hair cut it's quite I random think, though I, you know it? she could tell everybody every woman who comes in there yeah. don't get your hair yeah. cut like because yeah. that's usually what women do in the aftermath of breakup is go fuck up your hair and dye it a different <laughs> color like like just think like oh the prick i'll show him and yeah. then ruin your hair full britney spears yes yeah um and then like she said that basically uh, everything's going to go as well in the next year will go as well as long as I think positive about it I have to pray to my granny every Thursday for the next eight weeks I have to get purple crystals and orange crystals and light a pink candle and you know say my intentions <laughs> and they're all available from her gift shop <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I have to say a specific kind of like granny give me guidance and direction blah 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 um, then yeah she said that uh Oh yeah, there was um, the morning. This was weird, right? The morning, so it was Thursday morning. I'd gotten up and I switched on my, well, you know, you're waking up in the dark and the bedroom lights. I put them on and the lights kind of flickered. Um, and I was like, that's weird. It's like electricity supply. We're going to house. And then also a week ago, I'd been walking my dog Jody, um, in the field, and Jody had just stopped mad, stopped dead, and go mad barking at something strange. There was nothing there in the field. She was just looking at the ditch and just going mad barking. And then the psychic just said, like I didn't tell the psychic this, but she's like, "Oh, your granny wants you to know when the, these two things happen, it means she's present. So when the lights flicker, it means she's present. And if when your dog takes strange, that means she's present as well." So I was a bit like, "Fuck, that's strange." No. Yeah. Um. That yeah, that was weird. Um, and then she kind of said that 
yeah, uh, somebody close to me or somebody that I knew was going to have a miscarriage, which I thought was a bit like, ooh. Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah, and not to be too specific or whatever like that, but somebody did email into the podcast saying that they'd, you know, that the po- they, unfortunately they, they'd lost a pregnancy and that, you know, just listening to the podcast kind of helped them get mm. through that. So that was kind of like... Whoa. That was a bit. We I, we got that email in over the weekend, like so. That Jesus. was and look at those people. I hope brighter days are ahead for you. Yeah. Um. And then she was like talking about. Um. She was asking me who's Joe. Uh, I was like, I don't know any Joes. <laughs> and then like afterwards, I was like, started going through my phone book Joes. But she's like, yeah, no. Um. And also Martin. So like, it's basically talking. Keep an eye out for these men. Like so. I was like, <laughs> Joe, Joe Martin, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> So um, yeah, like there was a couple of other. Keep an eye out for Joe. Our yeah. manager is Joe. Yeah, like yeah. Joe. Is there something? <laughs> you should always, you should always keep an eye out for him. <laughs> yeah, um, and then like she just like interpreted all my cards and stuff like that. So like basically, what kept coming up and again was next year is going to be great for money, which is fantastic. So <laughs> it's like it means the mortgage is going to come true then, which is kind of good. So um, yeah, a bit mad. Like it was now. Do I believe? Yeah. What she said. Um, I'd love to believe it Like It was 60 euro And I was kind of thinking like Even Was it worth it It was a bit of crack It was novelty It was half an yeah. hour And I was kind of like Yeah It was something I wouldn't read too much into it And I wouldn't live my life But I think it's kind of like Something like you read your horoscope And it's just like If you need a little pick me up And a little bit of faith That the future is going to be okay It's fine But then I think Because then she was at me To come back to her For a healing which would be like Reiki and stuff like that and I'd be like mm, wouldn't be gone on that so I don't know I don't know like it's some of the stuff is a bit vague in general yeah and then um, like the the lights flickering and the, and the dog barking is yeah she was on the money with that yeah. and knowing my granny's name because like it's my intention if I have a, a girl to call her Rose after my granny which that just really okay. yeah I love the name Anna Rose and like that's when she said Rose it was a bit like I don't wow. know, but then you know there is the thing of Cole reading and Darren yeah. Brown has done it and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. I did. Yeah, I suppose the one thing you don't want to get into is like you're out some night and a lad called Joe comes up and you're like, oh my god, he's the one. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't want to live your life by it. Yeah, or let it influence important decisions. Yeah, that's it. Like you know, if a lovely guy called Shane comes along, you'd be like, oh, sorry, no, your, your name's not. Is your What's middle your- name <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Yeah. Or Martin Yeah Do you have a brother named Martin He might be more my type now <laughs> Yeah Are you going to go back? No like Would you go to her now If I gave her your number and, Or you gave you her number And details and... Um, I'm like I'm I'm terrible I don't know If I have like an, Not an addictive personality But if she gave me advice Like that like I'd probably stick to it <laughs> And like I, I can't stick to anything <laughs> But like I don't know Would I go I think I'd be afraid To find out some stuff Mm. Would be like Yeah I don't know she, They probably don't tell you Bad shit do they like I surprised about the miscarriage thing That she told me that Yeah, yeah it's freaky it's pretty yeah. Dark, yeah Um, And Oh she also told me She was a bit vague in this She told me I was going to have three children And two quite close together So But with the first pregnancy It could I might decide that It could go badly And I could decide I'm not having many more after that So I'm like Definitely going for the drugs So <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Will we huh? will we go and see one? Go on, yeah. Will we for the crack? <laughs> Tell her a load of lies. Yeah, what's your name? Peter. <laughs> yeah. I am also Peter. <laughs> <laughs> the two Peters. Yeah. There was other stuff she was asking me, like um names and I was like, No, I don't know who they are. I don't know yeah, I don't know that person, so But there were there was other things, but you the kind of stuff that sticks in your head. But in fairness, like, like Martin and Joe mm. like if she said to you, Do you know Paddy? Like odds are In fucking Ireland like, Yeah Everybody's got a fucking o- Uncle Paddy Or a fucking Auntie Anne like Yeah Well like my gra- She said my granny was asking me uh, Was asking uh, Granny's also saying something about America And I was like Oh, oh yeah. yeah Her her favourite son Like she did have a favourite son Lives over there And she's like She's asking about him And then she also was, She wants to know something about England I don't know She didn't have any children Live over in England So I don't know. Your granny was asking why are you working with those two clowns? <laughs> 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 All right, Mara, enjoy that one. Fair play. I'm still recovering from your mystery topic in Vicar Street. But <laughs> I can't wait for people to see that.